Migraine is a common health condition, affecting around 1 in every 5 women and around 1 in every 15 men. They usually begin in early adulthood. There are several types of migraine, including migraine with aura, where there are specific warning signs just before the migraine begins, such as seeing flashing lights. Migraine without aura, the most common type, where the migraine happens without the specific warning signs. Migraine aura without headache, also known as silent migraine, where an aura or other migraine symptoms are experienced, but a headache does not develop. Some people have migraines frequently, up to several times a week. Other people only have a migraine occasionally. It's possible for years to pass between migraine attacks. The main symptom of a migraine is usually an intense headache on one side of the head. In some cases, the pain can occur on both sides of your head and may affect your face or neck. Feeling sick, being sick are some other symptoms of migraine. Increased sensitivity to light and sound is another symptom which is why many people with a migraine want to rest in a quiet, dark room. The exact cause of migraines is unknown, but they are thought to be the result of abnormal brain activity temporarily affecting nerve signals, chemicals and blood vessels in the brain. It's not clear what causes this change in brain activity, but it's possible that your genes make you more likely to experience migraines as a result of a specific trigger. Many possible migraine triggers have been suggested, including hormonal, emotional, physical, dietary, environmental and medicinal factors. Emotional triggers such as stress, anxiety, shock, tension and depression, physical triggers such as tiredness, poor quality sleep, poor posture, shift work, low blood sugar may lead to migraines. Dietary triggers include Mr. Delayed regular meals, dehydration, alcohols, caffeine products, specific foods, such as chocolate, and citrus fruit and foods containing the substance tyramin, which include cured meats, yeast extracts, pickled herrings, smoked fish like smoked salmon. Environmental triggers are bright lights, flickering screens, such as a television or computer screen, smoking or smoky rooms, loud noises, changes in climate, such as changes in humidity or very cold temperatures, strong smells, a stuffy atmosphere. There's currently no cure for migraines, although a number of treatments are available to help ease the symptoms. Most people find that sleeping or lying in a darkened room is the best thing to do when having a migraine attack. Place a cool cloth or ice pack wrapped in a towel or cloth on your forehead and drink lots of water. Develop a sleeping and eating routine. Don't sleep too much or too little. Set and follow a consistent sleep and wake schedule daily. Try to eat meals at the same time every day. Drink plenty of fluids. Staying hydrated, particularly with water, might help. Regular aerobic exercise reduces tension and can help prevent a migraine. There are some alternative treatment methods too. Acupressure therapy may help relieve some migraine symptoms. Acupressure involves the application of pressure to specific parts of the body. Stimulating specific points of the body in this way is believed to release muscle tension and alleviate pain. One popular pressure point is the Li-4 point in the space between the base of the left thumb and pointer finger. Essential oils are often used as natural remedies or as an antimicrobial in homemade cleaning products. Lavender is an essential oil often recommended as a remedy for stress, anxiety, and headaches. Lavender oil inhalation helped reduce the severity of migraine headaches in some people. Yoga is thought to help improve blood flow and reduce muscle tension, which can help relieve symptoms for people who get migraines. Butterbur and Feverfew are two herbal supplements that may be helpful in reducing migraine pain and frequency. A daily dose of 150 mg of Butterbur was effective in lowering migraine frequency when taken for about three months, according to the American Migraine Foundation. The foundation suggests Feverfew is less effective than Butterbur. Feverfew may, however, be helpful for some people. Deficiency of magnesium, which is an essential mineral, may trigger migraine aura or a menstrual migraine headache. Research has found that supplementation of magnesium can be useful in reducing the frequency of migraines in some individuals. The B vitamins may have an impact on reducing migraine frequency and severity. B vitamins play a role in regulating neurotransmitters in the brain. People need to collaborate with a doctor or migraine specialist to find a treatment regimen that works, even when trying natural remedies. Keeping a migraine or headache journal can be useful in identifying triggers and effective remedies for migraines.